about you lot, listen, um, I've just done all the editing for, for the other fan reaction video and what a game man, what a game, I can't believe we've managed to get three points out of that, at one point I thought it was going to be typical West Ham, we were going to struggle, um, listen, I did the preview on Fulham, I didn't expect them to be that organised, I really didn't expect Scott Parker to put two pivots in there to make it difficult for West Ham, created chances, he did like I said he would, um, and he pushed the fullbacks on, and they, and they did create, and Anthony Robertson at one point was a real threat, and I was looking at Soufal thinking, he's going to have a really tough game, it's not as easy for West Ham to, to impose himself on Fulham um, and create chances, but for the first four or five minutes, West Ham were all over him, constant chances, deliveries into the box, Bowen from outside the box, Creswell from outside the box, Arthur in there, and Alaire header as well, and I will get to Sebastian Alaire's performance as well, um, it, was, it, was, it was such an end-to-end -end game, um, and it was difficult for West Ham to break down Fulham, and Fulham had a lot of chances. And you know, you're getting into that second half, and it's one of them games where chances are being created, but there was no real quality, and it was crying out for a game, or a moment of magic, or something like that. Moyes did what I didn't expect him to do, and bring Saeed Ben Rommel on around 60 minutes. Brought on Manu Lanzini as well. Obviously, the Ogbonna in injury is a, is a massive loss, um, and fingers crossed he can he can get back for the Sheffield United game. I'm not sure how serious that is, but. It was good to see Moyes' in-game management, good to see him change it, good to see him recognising that we needed something else to break down um, Fulham. He didn't change the system, um, and at times I was thinking, why are you bringing on Manu, playing him on the right where Bowen is, and, and Ben Rama on, on the left, but they were both coming a bit deep, and you think Fulham were comfortable, and Fulham broke out quite a few times in that second half. I know particularly the last 10 minutes, West Ham had 80% of the possession, dominating it, trying to create chances, but... I thought, you know, Fulham, particularly with Anguissa, I think if Kenny had found him, um, he would have been in on goal. I think he was in on goal as well, Anguissa. And uh, credit to Fulham as a team. I think they've shown a little bit more quality than I expected from them. Their midfield is decent. Um, they had Harrison Reed sitting in there making it difficult for West Ham to find space. And I think Moyes has come out and said the quality of the crossing was poor. Um, I'd have to agree. Some, some of the quality wasn't really there. wasn't really what I expect from West Ham. And we never seem to find a lair or we never seem to find anyone. 90 minutes plus one, obviously Ben Rahm is in the box, Sufal puts the delivery in and, and that's what I'm talking about and we can we can sort of debate the Pablo Fornals performance, I do think he had a really poor game if I'm perfectly honest, a few misplaced passes, um, but Ben Rahm's quality just for that final pass, just for that little bit of space that West Ham managed to create, lays it off to Tommy Suchek and he finishes lovely, jubbly, fantastic and I thought it was three points and obviously you've seen the fan reactions. Um, the penalty up the other end, it can happen. It can happen. It is so West Ham to, um, <laughs> for Fulham to go up the other end, push their entire team and say, listen, you know, we'll lose this game if we don't try and achieve something. And almost that hero to villain for side Ben Rama um, in a very, very short space of time. But I mean, it's got nothing to do with West Ham, but the penalty was terrible. I mean, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. If I'm perfectly honest with you, the Penenka decision, um, I don't really care because West Ham got the three points in the clean sheet. That's all I care about. But um, what a bizarre thing to do um, as really the last action in the game. I thought West Ham, it was positive. And it's, it, we were resolute and we were persistent. And, and it's a quality that, that you've never really associated with West Ham over the past couple of years. But just that belief that something will happen, that West Ham can create something. And we kept going and we kept trying. And listen, we found a bit of magic in the end and, and we won the game. And, I'm buzzing. What a result for West Ham to go into the international break for. Um, keeps the confidence high. We push up the table again. We've got Sheffield United in the next game. They've struggled against Chelsea today, as we've seen. Um, so I expect West Ham to put in another decent performance. Again, what I will say about Sebastian Allaire, and I know he's had his critics, and I've been one of them. I thought he was, I thought he was, I don't want to say very good, but I thought he was much improved. Much improved. Putting himself about a bit more. Holding the ball up. Trying to bring the midfield into play. Um, trying to get on the end of crosses. Um, I thought that's exactly what I want to see from him. I'm not expecting him to score a goal every game. I'm not expecting him to get clear-cut chances. I know this system isn't isn't his natural system, isn't what he works to do, but I just think what he was doing, the little things of what he was doing, is what I want to see from him going forward. And possibly if Antonio is not fit for Sheffield United, Ale is going to still have to deputise. So we're still going to have to rely on him in some aspects. So it's good to see that he has got something else in his locker to offer um, and that we can get good performances out of him. So, listen, buzzing with the three points. It nearly was one of those days for West Ham, but... Um, but listen, luckily it wasn't, and, and we go again. So come on, your minds, um, and until next time, take care.